I get a lot of questions about these sunglasses. I think uh, they're definitely one of my favorite possessions. Uh, they are the only sunglasses I own. And I want to tell you about why I think you might want to grab ones like these, if not these exact same ones. My journey into sunglasses was rather uncomfortable and insecure. I would have gas station sunglasses, I'd have aviators because I thought those were cool. And then I got some cheap ones and then I thought, you know what, I can't even be bothered with sunglasses. They're just, they're just too try hard and too cool guys. So basically I just always made a mockery of it. I didn't actually invest in any money into it. I pretended that I always broke them, but I never did. I just, you know, I didn't care for them and maybe I did lose them because I didn't care at all. Or at least I told myself that, but I did know that everybody else looked great in sunglasses. So I thought at some point, might as well invest. Let's see what happens if I just bought some really nice Ray-Bans or something. These are Ray-Bans, by the way. This is my second pair of nice sunglasses. So I started searching. I was looking for styles that were a little casual, a little dressy. Where can I wear these all? Like Because they seem so limiting and there's all this fashion advice that I just really don't care for when it comes to sunglasses. Like, oh, is your face shaped like this? Is it long? Is it heart shaped? It's like, I know I wear regular glasses in general. Like It's kind of a headache. So I just looked at how wide they are and then I have a rule about how long they are, which I'll get into later. But these two things are the only things you have to focus on. And then I found Wayfarer is the the type of sunglasses that you see here. These are these are the way, new Wayfarers and uh, the regular Wayfarers that like say Tom Cruise would wear or something. Those ones had this like, if you look at it from the side, when they're going horizon like that, the new Wayfarer or the regular Wayfarers had this really extreme angle. And these ones go more straight up and down like normal sunglasses. So I, I decided to get this new modern take on these Wayfarers because I just thought that the 80s versions was kind of, it was just odd to me. So I got these nice brown ones, matched my hair because I think that's what you should match. You should work with your skin and hair. So I focused on just getting the sunglasses that just made sense, that were practical, I'll say. And these just happen to be what I think is the most practical, least try hard, perfect pair of sunglasses you can possibly buy. They look good on everybody and they kind of slip under the radar, but I will always get compliments on them just in general. So after I got my first ones, the brown ones, I thought they were great. They're, I had them for maybe like six to eight years. I thought they worked out really well. And then I decided recently, you know, I wanted to go a little bit louder. I wanted to get like a little bit more fashionable, I suppose you could say. So I went with these red ones with the black and I decided, you know, this really, really works for me. I have like warmer tones and general work on my skin. Red is awesome. And uh, it's, it's a lot more badass. I think a, like a bright blue or a red, just a statement that you can instantly take off. It's, it's a very comfortable statement piece in a sense, uh, having loud colored sunglasses. So I highly recommend these. And uh, I want to talk about why I chose the size is because the way that I'm not a big dude, I'm, I'm pretty short. So distance between the, my temples is not, it's not huge, right? So I went with these, they're like a perfect width. And I have this rule for all glasses, and this goes for men, is that you should never have the bottom of the sunglasses go below the little divot in your nostrils. That's just a general rule of thumb for men. And I think this is the key. So if your sunglasses, if you try them on and that bottom of the sunglasses is going down below your nostril, they're, they're too big. They're, it becomes feminine at that point. And uh, I don't think that's really the best look to compliment a man's face structurally. So uh, the sun is going down anyways. So I want to quickly make this video and just suggest these sunglasses in particular. You're gonna love them or some blue ones or something a little bit louder and pop and the new wafer because of that angle of the, the lenses when they're on your face are not like this. They're more straight up and down. It's a perfect, perfect sunglass in my opinion. Aviators are great too. All of the other ones are great, but that's it. That's all I had to say. Till next time. Cheers.